thank you for taking the time to speak to me. I think there's all this emphasis on physical, mm -hmm. which you add, coaching, technical stuff, but the psychology. I had a good career, but finishing playing football hit me like a sledgehammer. Mm -hmm. Have you had some help along the way? Have you felt the need? Yeah, I've, I've had a bit of therapy as well. Where I had a bit of problems in family and stuff. I've had to take a bit of time out and dropping down the leagues, what I have done, it's, it's knocked me for six, mm. to be honest. And I just lost myself completely. Bit of self-esteem. Yeah. Maybe. But obviously, having therapy has helped me a lot. Well, it's brave to admit that. I, I, th I think young players, anybody watching, the hardest thing in a football, in, in a male environment, especially mm. football, but any bloke, because of ego, is asking for help. Yeah. And actually sharing with someone, I don't feel too good. Mm -hmm. You know, and when you don't feel too good, you make bad decisions. You know, whether it be going out, drinking too much, partying too much, um, you know, the aggression can build up, can come out physically, your relationships suffer, girlfriends, siblings, um, ask for help. I actually think football clubs are probably as good as they've ever been now at helping players if they ask for help. Yeah. But I'm still, I still don't think enough young players feel the courage to yeah. be able to say, because as soon as you say, I've got a problem, I don't feel good. So if you were at Fulham then and you'd have come to me or to the manager, whatever, and said, you know, something are not quite right. I know what you're thinking. You're well, I'm not going to play now. Yeah. They're going to think, something wrong with me. I'm not going <laughs> to, they would, that's, yeah. that's what you think. Yeah. So I think something like this and what you're doing is great because hopefully even if one person thinks, you know what, or one young player or one, and not even a player, thinks I just share, I confide. Because as soon as you do confide in people, you do get help, don't you? You exactly. know, you, it does help you. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, it's okay not to be okay. Perfect, yeah. Yeah. Do you learn that therapy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay not to be okay. It is. Yeah. It is. And that is, um, it's a very simple statement that, that rings true. There's a part of me that feels I became quite complacent when I was at Fulham. But what would you say my attitude was like in training and application? I remember a couple of little things when, you know, we did some pre-season running or some run of the running test sometimes and you dropped out a couple of times. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that. And with your physique and your athleticism, I know it's harder when there's so many mm. older fit lads and that, but it was one of your strengths really. And yeah. you gave it in a bit quickly and a couple of the boys I remember seeing, remember going, What's wrong with him? Like, why is he dropping out? Mm. And you know, and you, you think to yourself, well, maybe it's just hard, maybe he's got a problem, you know, and then it happened again and you think, mm, it's an easy option to drop yeah. out. And I do get it, because I remember my first day at Liverpool, I mean, God, my first day at Liverpool doing a pre-season training, I was actually running with John Barnes, who was like my hero. <laughs> I couldn't do it. They were all so much fitter. And, I, and, and, you know, I just put it down to that. But maybe that was an area which, you know, the mindset, yeah. I've got to kick on, I've got to get through it. If I'm sick, I'm sick. If I spew my guts up, if, it doesn't matter. I've got to show them that, mm. you know, and even occasionally things in training, like with your power, the, that sometimes being a bit nice. It doesn't matter if you upset someone. Do you remember mm. Clint Dempsey? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he, man on the he pitch. trained <laughs> yeah. like it was his last ever yeah. session. And if he was on the back post with you, he'd stick his elbow in your face mm -hmm. and he'd get the goal. Mm -hmm. And it's a mindset thing. I definitely look, I don't ever doubt my ability whatsoever, no. but I do look back and think it's my mindset. I know it's my mindset. It was. Yeah. You're a bit, no, a bit, you can't question your ability. I mean, your ability was phenomenal. You had everything you needed. But that just shows you in football, doesn't it? And probably in life, actually, that, you know, you, you look at players now, probably playing in the Premier League, thinking, mm. he hasn't got half what I had. And that's true. But they got but, the heart. But, but it's not even heart. It's, it's, it's mindset. It's, mm. it's desire with help. Mm. You can have the desire, but you still need the help to put it into play. Mm. Gerard Julio is the best. I'll never forget one day he said to me, can I see you in the office? I was like, yeah, thinking, I don't know. And uh, he said, what's wrong? I said, nothing. He said, well, for the last couple of weeks, not smiling, haven't seen you shaved, dressing scruffy, might be nothing, but if you want to talk to me, I'm here. Mm. Right, you're doing all right, doing well, keep going, don't you? But if there's something you want to talk to me about, talk to me. And I walked out of there, and there wasn't actually anything big going on at the time, but the next day I was shaving, it's a big smile morning, you know, <laughs> just, and actually, good management that is. Yeah. And maybe, you know, don't be arsing on yourself, I'd say. I had a manager in Julia who had my back. I was lucky. For some reason, he chose me to just 
guide me. And you needed that and probably didn't get it. So I can sit here and go, well, my mindset was better. Um, you know, there was something in me that always pushed me, but I had some help, you know what I mean? And maybe you just didn't get that one, that one bit of guidance that you needed at the right time, but you certainly had the ability, that's for sure. Because they see you, young player, they see me playing, they think, oh, he's got no problems. Mm. You know, they don't know that when I was playing, you know, uh, IVF four or five times to try and have my daughter, my dad dying when I was 30, when I was at Tottenham, people mm. were like, why, why isn't he playing, where's he gone? You know, because yeah. I was spending time with him. They don't, they don't, that's, everyone has these issues, but mm. they think footballers, because you're earning the money is, you don't have to prove anything to people out there who, who have got, who know you and think badly or think that you've done things wrong. It's more about helping those who may be on the same journey, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I, I, I think being comfortable with what you're doing and trying to get to a better place is all you can do. Mm. You know, you're, tr you're trying to work through a really difficult thing. Analyse, that was my career. Well, I've been through some bad stuff. Why? Where am I now? What can I do next? That's brave in itself. Yeah. You know, and no disrespect, if someone's not happy with that, <laughs> do you need them in your life? You know, like, if someone wants to criticise you, they don't know your journey. Mm. They don't know your fight every day when you get up or go to sleep. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Don't worry about them. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. It's, it's a good message and it's, it's a good journey you're on. This is the first time in ages I've just enjoyed playing football. Yeah. Just, you know, but can you, can you, that's a great thing you've got to think about there. That mindset you have to keep is just be you. Instead of, am I going to get dropped? Are we going to win? Am I going to lose? What does it mean? Just play. Yeah. I used to just play, just be free. Mm -hmm. I think it's a balance. Enjoying your football, obviously there's a there's a life you have to yeah. earn to live and all that, but how, how much do you want it? Where do you want to get to where the pressure becomes too much? You've been there now, so you can yeah. make that judgment call better, can't you? I definitely feel if I was to go back to where I was, I'd be in a much better place and handle it a lot better. Do it. Yeah. What just story that be? Just need uh, someone to have put faith in me and just give me a chance. <laughs> if you get yourself physically and mentally right, the next bit. Well, the f that, that can't happen until the first bit. Right? Yeah. And it sounds like you're on that journey.